Jonathan Joestar versus Tanjiro Kamado? I can't remember his last name. This is episode 3 of season 9 of Death Battle. And can I just say, I'm really excited. I think this might be, so far, the most excited I've been for a Death Battle episode in Season 9. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong, I was excited for Harley Quinn vs. Jinx. Wasn't too excited for Scarlet vs. Zatanna, but we'll get to that later. And, um, but this one I'm really excited for, because considering how well their last Jojo episode was, I'm really ho- I'm re I have high hopes. For starters, I have no idea who's gonna win. Um, a lot of people say Jonathan, a lot of people- a lot of people say Tanjiro, and honestly, truly, I don't know who. A lot- um, though most people I've interacted with say Jonathan, so... Probably, I'm gonna be betting on Jonathan winning this. Now, to be fair, Jonathan, he isn't really my favorite Jojo. That honor belongs to Jojiro. He's hes my second favorite, though. I love Jonathan. And I've only recently started watching Demon Slayer. Really good. Really enjoying it so far. And yeah, I'm pretty hyped because this episode, considering how well their last Jojo episode went... I'm really excited. Dio vs. Alucard was an absolute banger and one of my favorite episodes of Season 9. So, <clears throat> yeah. I will... Although, I will admit that I'm kind of scared of them using the scaling for Dio's eye laser attack uh, for Jonathan, because I really don't see how he should scale to that. I mean, he, he like, survived... He, he took a block, he took it, like, head-on, but it, like, w w like, went directly through his arm. So not only can it not scale to his durability, but it can't scale to his attack potency. So, I don't know. As for Tanjiro, I've seen a lot of power scaling for him, and a lot of it's a bit wonky. A lot, some, some of it ranges for, uh, to, like, multi-city block, and others range to, like, building. Eh, it's weird. But yeah, I'm excited for this. Um, so, I'm going to probably... I can't not root for Jonathan during this. I love Jonathan. He's he's really cool. He's a, he's a cool character. And I like that he's voiced by Johnny Young Bosch. He's like one of my favorite VAs in general in anime. And um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to be rooting for him. As for who's winning, no idea, but... A lot of people say Jonathan. Won't be surprised if Tanja Romans, though. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, don't know who's gonna win. But I'm rooting, rooting for Jonathan. If Tanjiro does win, I won't be mad, because... I mean, I'm enjoying Demon Slayer. But if Jonathan wins, I also won't be mad, because I do like Jonathan as a character, and JoJo is a really good anime, so... Yeah. Alright. I really have nothing else to say here, so let's move on to my thoughts on Scarlet Witch vs. Zatanna. Alright, I'm gonna be real now. I am kinda sick of Marvel vs. DC in general. I honestly hope we don't get any more episodes of Marvel vs. DC this season, because... It's just played out. It's just been played out so often that it's not fun anymore. <clears throat> anyway, how was Scarlet Witch versus Zatanna? It was pretty good. It wasn't awful. It was actually really good. In fact, it is probably the episode uh, that was that has the most potential that used a lot of that potential. Yeah. For starters, the animation. The sprites kind of go for that 
Ben 10 versus a Green Lantern, Archie versus Wally, Goku Black versus Reverse Flash kind of style, you know? Where it's kind of like, the sprites are kind of like hand-drawn, and then they're like pixelated, so they look kind of like, they look like they're natural. They're, it's not like puppet rigs, it's not like taking traditional sprites from like Mugen or something. And it looks, it, it looks really well. Wanda's face is a bit off, and Satana's face doesn't have a nose, but you know what? It's fine. Because the voice acting is also really good. Zatanna's voice in particular is adorable, and I love it. She has this kind of like magician's voice going on, where she's like just over like she's kind of like over exaggerating and just being all bubbly and stuff. And it's adorable. I love it. Wanda's voice is very Russian. I know, very Russian. Um. And it's also enjoyable, considering that Wanda originally came from, well, like, Siberia? I don't know where she came from. I mean, in the com in the, in the the films, she came from... Oh, man, now I can't even remember. Um... What was it? It was, like... Wov... Oh, man, why can't I remember? It'll come to me. Um, but yeah, Wanda's voice, it has, like, she has this Russian accent to it, and it honestly works well for the character, considering that she kind of is a bit, uh, Russian. Um, and the action is just super stellar. I really like, um, there's a lot of stuff I really like in this. I like how Zatanna quotes Megamind. Not once, well once, but technically twice with her No More Witches line, which is also kind of a ripple from, which is also kind of from Wanda's House of M quote, No More Mutants. But all I can think of when I hear that quote now is just no witches, you know, like the Megamind meme, the, the, the no bitches meme. I, I just, I, I, I don't know how to feel about that. And the face that Zatanna makes at the end because, well, spoiler alert, she won! Um, it was kind of... Kind of call- I called it. Uh, kind of call- I was kind of calling it before the episode came out, but I'm not really angry because... Honestly, it's gonna be fun to watch Wanda Stance have a meltdown over this. Because she- she could erase, like, the mutant population just by saying no more mutants. It's- it's... Look, I love Wanda as much as the next guy. I think she's a cool character. Her stands, though, they... Oh, man. They rival Ben 10 stands. They rival Archie Sonic stands. That's how bad they, they are. So, um... It's gonna be fun to watch them have a meltdown. Uh, no DC bias here. In fact, I mostly grew up on Marvel and not DC. And in terms of movies, I would pick DC, uh, Marvel over DC. Don't get me wrong, DC has had a good s string of movies lately, but I'd still watch a Marvel movie over them. Anyway, continuing on, um, the hand-drawn stuff at the end did look a bit weird, but it was fine, I guess. And the analysis, Wanda's analysis was fine. It was solid. But Zatanna's analysis, I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it. You know, maybe it was the, the, the sponsor in the middle of the analysis section. Oh, man. You know what? It's fine, I guess. Oh, and of course the ending quotes don't come back, so... I'm afraid that's just gonna be something I'm gonna have to get used to now. But that's not- I don't really think that should count as a downgrade to the episode. But this episode really does go all the way with its potential. It just goes into the whole bat Shane, the bat shit insane um, magic that both the characters have. Um... In the beginning, Wanda is like overpowering Zatanna, but once they start getting serious, Zatanna just completely blitzes Wanda, just destroys Wanda. I also like, the, I, I love the death. It's just so creative. Don't get me wrong, <clears throat> a lot of the deaths nowadays haven't really been creative. This one, however, is not that. 
Zatanna traps Wanda in a box and then uses a magician sword to cut her in half. And that is just... Literally, that is the perfect kill for a character like Zatanna, considering she's a magician. And she's got this whole magician's aesthetic to her. And... Yeah. I think that's really cool. I like the episode. What would I give it? I'd give it an 8. It's a solid episode. The soundtrack is a banger as well. Spellaholic Synonymous is really good. And, um... The only thing I really didn't like was the, uh... Was, like, Zatanna's analysis. But other than that, it was fine. I like this episode. One bad analysis segment isn't enough to bring this episode down to, like, a 6 or a 7. This was a really good episode, and I'm happy that we finally got an episode that uses two characters to... Well, I wouldn't say their fullest potential, but close to their full potential. It's really cool, and I love it. And I can't wait to see what happens with characters like them again, because... Now that we know they can do characters like this justice, there is no going back. We can... Heck, let's get a new Doctor Strange vs. Doctor Fate. Let's let's just remake that episode from the ground up. Let's do the same for Thanos vs. Darkseid. Let's do the same for... This one's gonna be a hot take, but... Wally vs. Sonic. Let's do... Let's just... Redo those episodes. Keep the end... Keep the... Keep the, um, um... The, the conclusions the same, because those are right. But just improve them in my opinion at least so yeah that was those were my thoughts this episode was was really good eight out of ten um yeah i will see you all once jonathan versus tundra comes out so in like two weeks bye